My intellect is without limit. Oh. Hey, Stack's back. School phase MTG. Just planes walked here from work. Oh. Well, thanks for everybody being back. Uh, I've been wanting to address something, so I'm going to do something in this video that's a little different from what I've been doing. Um, I, I play a lot of different decks with a lot of different powerful cars, a lot of different wares, and um, I've been getting people telling me that they have to uh, use a lot of wild cards or they can't build some of the decks that I display because it takes a lot of wild cards, takes a lot of rares, takes a lot of mythics. Um, so I've been getting people asking me to display a deck that they can actually afford to make. And by afford, I mean their wild cards in the arena because not everybody has a lot of wild cards to build a lot of different decks. Um, so I'm going to do that today. So today is going to be a deck. It's all the cards in the deck are either common or uncommon except for the lands. And the reason that I'm doing it that way is because if you're new to arena, you're just starting out, you don't have an extensive collection and you do have any wild cards, um, rares or mythics to spare, um, which in this case, it'll just be wild, uh, rare wilds because lands aren't mythics. Um, for the most part, I don't think, um, then lands are a good place for you to start spinning your wild cards because you can use lands in multiple decks. You'll you'll use them pretty much in any deck that you build. Um, so crafting lands are much more reliable than crafting specific cards that go in specific decks because you utilize lands pretty much across the board for any deck you're going to build. Um, so yeah, this deck, it's elementals. It's all uncommons and, and commons except for the lands. The lands are rares. So I got rare lands in there. And if you're going to run this deck, then that's the most optimal way to run it. Um, it's going to be very hard to run a three-color deck um, with all basics. So if you're going to run this, and you you pretty more than likely already have some of these lands. You have a lot of them already. You may not, you won't have to craft all of them. You already have some of these lands already crafted, um, are already in your collection. So you can just craft the ones that you need and go ahead and throw this together pretty easily because most of us have hundreds of uncommons and common wild cards just sitting in the bank that we can spend on whatever we want to spend on so um let's get into the deck this is uncommon elementals uh kahira is here in the companion spot uh, it's in my sideboard it's not actually a part of the deck um i went on a nice eight and one run with this deck um and i i didn't use any any of the cards that are actually in the sideboard the sideboard is um, all of the rares and mythics that I would suggest you putting in it if you have the wild cards to spare or once you start earning them you have wild cards to spare to upgrade the deck um, the sideboard is just displaying strictly what you can use as upgrade so Kahira isn't actually in the deck I, I didn't use it in any of my gameplay um, it's in the sideboard um, so for the deck the actual deck I got uh, four Scorch Spitters uh, four Shock four Healer of the Glade four lightning stormkin four creeping trailblazer four chandra spitfire four risen reef and risen reef really should be a rare with how powerful it is but hey it's an uncommon so if you don't have these go ahead and craft them up uh i'm running four chandra novice pyromancer and four scampering scorcher and then i'm running 24 lands so i got two island two mountain four forests four steam vents, four stomping ground, four breeding pool, and four fable passage. So that is a total of 16 rare lands. Um, like I said, most of these you should already have some of them, um, and then you just can use wild cards to craft the rest. Most of us, we have some um, variety of rare lands already. So um, it shouldn't that be that much of a strain on your wild cards. Um, and then for the sideboards, which I said, again, these are just strictly what I recommend is upgrades for the deck to make the deck even more powerful once you have the wild card to spare. Um, Kahira can be used as the companion, um, works well with the elementals. Uh, Thundering Awakener, uh, very good, very powerful card with elementals, especially if you get Chandra Novel Power Man so out um, and start giving your elementals the buff. You can always get your uh, your Scampering Scorchers back and just keep generating a bunch of uh, tokens, which then... If you have um, Risen Reef, you can get Risen Reef back with Thunder and Awakening too. But if you have a, a Risen Reef out, when you start getting your Scampering Scorchers back, then it just keeps triggering Risen Reef and you get more cards in your hand, you get more lands in play, and it just gets out of hand uh, very quickly. Uh, Chandra, Chandra 
Acolyte of the Flame. Um, I actually, in this deck, I like the Novice Power Mancer better than this one, but this certainly is an option to consider running um, for the deck. Um, the tokens, of course, trigger Risen Reef, but I would I would actually lean away from putting this into um, the deck as an upgrade because Novice Power Mancer works so much better in the deck. Um, but hey, it's it's strictly a matter of, of, of choice, of, of preference, really, what you prefer. Um, I recommend, of course, Omnath, um, maybe as a one or two of um, upgrade if you have the Mythic uh, to spare. Uh, Cavalier of the Thorns, great for getting stuff back from the grave, great for getting your ramp up. Um, so yeah, he's definitely a, a solid upgrade for the deck if you choose to, you know, upgrade with him. Uh, Gigantha, another companion option because everything in the deck is um, a single pip on with mana symbol. So you can definitely run uh, Gigantha as your companion and it's an elemental and it ramps you. So um, solid companion option for the deck as well. Uh, Aluna, Apex of Wishes, definitely good as a one or two of in the deck. Um, elemental Mutator, uh, great addition, great upgrade if you got the wild card to spare. Um, if you're going to go high on the curve, then Chandra Awaken Inferno is, is excellent because she gives an increasing clock on your opponent um, as far as them being alive. And you she can clear the board without killing any of your stuff because she deals 3 damage to all, all creatures, but they're all non-elemental creatures. So she won't touch any of your stuff and she'll just wipe out your opponent's stuff um, if they're running a bunch of small creatures out on the, on the field. Um, so she's great as a uh, top end finisher uh, for the deck. And then um, Perforos Intervention is good um, as, a, as, a, as a source of, you can get an elemental token or you can do damage. So you can use it as removal or you can use it as something to get an elemental token, which um, can trigger Risen Reef and um, help you get more gas and keep you going. Um, so it's a solid option as well, especially if you need to pack more removal. Um, these are the options that I recommend as solid upgrades. And then, um, of course, if you want to go the route of adding more removal into your deck, which I don't really recommend putting too much removal um, in a deck like this because our goal is to flood the board and outrace our opponent. We're, we're like a really low to the ground um, mid-range style deck. We just want to just go, go, go. We want to keep pressuring our opponent. Um, so I don't recommend putting too much removal in the deck. But I'm not going in in combination with Chandra, you know, those are already solid removal options. Um, Perforos inf Intervention maybe as a as a two of in the deck as well. Uh, solid removal option. But um, yeah, these are these are all solid upgrades. So um, definitely consider those when you get the wild cards. Like I said, for the sake of this gameplay footage, I ran the deck. Um, I ran it the initial two matches and I, I blew past my opponents with those. And I just figured I'm just going to continue to run the deck until... Um, I take a loss. So um, I ran it all the way for eight matches, got through uh, tier four of platinum, uh, got into tier three, won a game in tier three, and then I dropped the land, uh, excuse me, dropped the game to mana screw. So I stopped it there. But um, all of the matches except for one are on the, uh, in the gameplay because um, one match I played against somebody, I think they were on Mono Wyatt or maybe Flyers. They played a, um, a Healer's Hawk and I, I shocked it. Uh, turn one and then they conceded so I cut that match out, but all the rest of the matches are in there So, uh, yeah enough talking about it. Let's get into the gameplay dominate with some in commons uh, I can keep this Oh going against the federal Federali Might be in trouble here I don't like dealing with the feds um, oh, I got a basic mountain. I didn't even have to pay for that. Oh, well. Let's, let's bring the federal down two points with me. Gotta, gotta keep it fair and even here. We'll both chill at 18 for now. Oh. Alright. Killing my Stormkin there, huh? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down in case he's got some more removal. I'm sure that will entice him to use it. Rather him kill that than my Risen Reef. Alright. There's two of those out the way. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and play this. And uh, I'll play Spitter. Get damage on board. Alright. Oh, 
Hi. Got all the all the answers here. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pay for this. Let's go ahead and play Reef. I would definitely will take that Steamkin or Stormkin. I'm sorry. Uh, let's get this in tap. I'm gonna send the Trailblazer at Kaya and send Stormkin at face. Hopefully he doesn't have a board wipe. That would suck. Alright. Him him playing that tells me he doesn't have a board wipe. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and flood the board now. On the, his only way out of this will be if he tops deck a board wipe. Uh do I wanna no, I, let me just let me just go ahead and flood the board. He doesn't have a hand, so. Play this, the blade, and play. I'll play uh, the spitter now. Yeah, yep. All right, let's go in. Is this going to be the top deck of the century? On top deck of board white. Federal. Nope, no board white. He's done. <laughs> I don't like the feds anyway. Oh yeah. Definitely a, a keeper. Uh oh. I'm playing against a winner. Vinny winner. Viney winner? I don't know. It says winner. Guess that means I'm done for. He's already letting me know he's gonna win. Uh okay, I won't shock myself here. Um, I'll go ahead and play this tap and just play a Scorch Spitter. If you play something I can shock, I can do it next turn and still be able to advance my board. Oh, yeah, that's, that definitely has to die. Alright, pay for this. Play Trailblazer. Let's go ahead and uh, shock the, the fly. Alright, take three. Not winning. Winner, what you got? Oh, 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 you're done for. The scorcher. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. What do you got? You can't even clear the board. Quick work. All right, this is match number three. I think I'm gonna just keep rolling this deck until uh until I hang up a loss with it. So see how far I can go. See if I can make it through a whole tier of platinum with uh all uncommon elementals. Seki Sekai like Sakai Salmon. I wonder if he likes Sakai Sammy. Will not be attacking into your death touch. I don't want my uh, elemental to turn into Sakai Sammy. Alright, take your one. So it's that deck. It's the... I want my, my tokens to die so I gain life and you lose life and all that good stuff. So... Block with your your one token now. If you won't, but no, don't want to block. So basically, the strategy behind beating this deck is going to be not to kill his. Oh, yeah. All right. So the strategy definitely now is not to kill his his guys, so I can basically just outrace him. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get this down. All right, yeah. I, I these uh Spitfires are gonna be what's gonna get me there. I I feel comfortable taking his damage now that I have uh Spitfires. I'm not I'm not concerned about blocking. Well, I want to kill one. No. 
Not concerned about blocking. I'll uh I'll I'll just keep eating his his little his little one damages. Alright, uh get in with the Spitfire. <clears throat> yeah, he's just gonna keep swinging in, and I'll I'll just keep taking it. Cause I don't want him to gain any life. I'm just gonna outrace him with these Spitfires. Um, I could try to go in for the kill now because I could shock with Chandra, and then I have a shock in hand. That would give me 14 damage in the air with Spitfires, but. He might have removal, so I'm gonna I'm try to get this one down as a precautionary measure. But yeah, technically I, I could have went for the the kill this turn, but I'm I'm almost certain that he probably has removal in hand, so I'm gonna go for the safer option, so I can take his one damages again with no problem. Let's go ahead and get in with these two. When you're playing a, a deck that's of uh, not of uh, the highest power level like I'm doing right now, the, the biggest thing to remember is to uh, make smart choices. Your choices will be what will pull out the victories for you. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, pretty safe to... I would assume he doesn't have a board wipe, but then again he might because him killing his own creatures is beneficial to him, so... I'm gonna take all of this. See what happens. He might he might board wipe, might not. Board wipe? No. Alright, yeah, he's 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 done now. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do two to his face with Chandra. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to turn you into Sakai Salmon. Seki, that's not going to save you, Seki. Seki, shock to your face. Woohoo! Haha! <laughs> oh, uh, a lot of lands. But, uh, I'm going to keep it. Going against some, some Sky Nomad. I want to play my untap mountain here because uh, playing the steam vents untap, shocking myself and then saying go basically says I have a shocking hand. I don't, I don't want him to know that. All right, go ahead and uh, pay for it now and get Stormkin down. Gotta, gotta try to outrace this Sky Nomad. I like seeing Yurion up there with. With the three mana symbol up there. Gotta gotta pay for that to go in your hand now. It's lovely. No more free eighth cards. Um Let's go ahead and uh get this down tap. Play Sports Spitter. Alright. He's uh his clock is getting shorter here now. Next turn it'll be uh Scorcher. He's mana screwed up there with his uh counter magic. Didn't have two blue. Uh oh. Blast zone. What are you, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. So he's on some uh some bank control. He's not really uh controlling me right now though. Alright, he's shocking for that, so that lets me know he's got something to either draw cards like an omen or some kind of a counter spell, uh maybe Dovin's Veto or uh, Growth Spiral. We'll find out. Got something for this scorcher? I don't think you do. You don't have two blue for a creature counter. Oh, he, he could have had a uh, essence scatter too, but not likely. 
Whoa, it's a lot of damages coming your way, sir. You gonna summon the Sky Nomad to come help you? He can't save you. He can't save you. Sky Nomad? You gonna power up your blast zone? You can kill uh, two guys. You can kill two guys with your blast zone right now. I'm gonna try to find a shadow of the sky. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. That's it. Nope, that's not a shadow of the sky. Put a sky nomad into his hand, but it's over with now. Can't save you. Can't save you. <laughs> Win number four. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep this. I'm I'm loaded the ground on my curve, so um, I, I'll I'll keep a two lander. I'm I'm fine. Um, I wanted to cut the last match out because I guess I was up against Mono White or some kind of Flyers build or something, and my opponent played a a Healer's Hawk, and I shocked it, and then they conceded. So that was like a free win. <laughs> All right, let's get this down. But this is game six. This is for me to get out of tier four. YMB. Go ahead and uh, pay for this and get down Trailblazer. YMB. I wonder what that stands for. He's playing Yurion, so. What does that stand for? Yurion's Master Boss? Yurion's Master? Yurion's Master Baller? And against Yurion's Master Baller here. Yurion's main best friend. Sky Nomad. Oh, they, they're still clinging on to Yurion. I know it, it hurts to have to pay that three. You can play a land and pay three and put them into your hand now, if you'd like. I would have rather him waste his turn to do that. Alright. Uh, well, go ahead and play this. It's possible that he could be. He could be playing board wipe. So, at least I'll get a card off of it if he does. Alright. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and play Reef. Yep, put that into play. Yurion's Master Baller. Yurion's, Yurion's Mega, Mega Best Friend. Mega Bestie. Yurion's Mega Bestie, that's, all, that's what I'm gonna call him. That's what YMB stands for. Yurion's Mega Bestie. Oh. I'm gonna exile my my reef. All right, well you're just dead now. <laughs> Yurion can't save you. Can't save you from the swarm of elementals. It's quite over. No concede. Wants me to wants me to prove it. Eat it. That's how you rank up with uncommons. Uh yeah. It's pretty good. Umari? That's what I'm playing against. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Well, go ahead and keep it. Camilo Soto. Me uh you go ahead and fetch up my island here. Need that. Get some turn two lightning storm king going to uh, Soto's face. Oh, no I won't. Grazer says no. 
You know, I always wonder, like, how is it that a grazer can block a flyer, but the 1111 uh, trampling Godzilla can't? So odd to me. So Soto's here is playing, uh, playing uh, Umari, so means I'm going to be facing some, probably some mutate, yeah. Yeah. All right. Mutate it is. It is now mutated. Go ahead and uh, pay for this. Uh, I don't think he'll block, so let me swing it. If he blocks it, I'll kill it. Yeah, didn't figure it. Didn't figure he'd be that uh that gullible. Um, let me get Spitfire down. Keep everything aerial. My aerial superiority. All right. Parcel beast doing parcel things. Works for the postal service. Delivering parcels. The parcel beast is delivering your parcels to your hand. Oh, now it's a. Is it gonna. It's gonna be a migratory great horn now? And that grazer has been drinking some steroid juice. Been, been getting shot up, injected. Anything else? Oh, it's paying for it. It's got something. Maybe a shock. All right. Um. Well, let me go ahead and swing. Because if he, if he, if he blocks it with the Spitfire, I'll shock his face and kill it. If he blocks it with the lightning, if he blocks the lightning steam stormkin, then I'll uh, I'll shock it and kill it anyway. Unless he shocks my storm king. Alright, no block still. Let's go ahead and get uh both of my scorch spitters down. Alright. He's on the he's on the, the uh spitfire clock now. I suspect he'll be putting out some kind of big mutator unless he's gonna play a well, he can't play Amori. New companion rules. Gotta pay that three. I appreciate that people are still trying to... Oh. Okay. I appreciate that people are still trying to make the companions work, but... Uh, just not. I don't think they're as effective as they used to be. Um, alright. I'm gonna... I want to play a trailblazer or let me see here now playing a trailblazer won't, won't do me much good I'm gonna swing because if he blocks okay if he blocks the Spitfire with his uh, Aluna his Aluna dies and if he blocks it the uh, Stormkin with his Grazer then the Great Horn dies so I have profitable attacks all around. Oh, well, he's gonna leave the, the Spitfire open. Well, <laughs> yeah, you die. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Yeah, I'll keep it. Going a nice little run here. Flexing with uncommons. To do this more often. It's uh it's fun going up against some seriously constructed uh, decks to play at high levels with with uncommons. All right. Oh, I know it probably uh, probably.
probably ticks a lot of people off. They're playing with their high power Urion decks, losing to uncommon elementals. Oh, another mutate deck. Just got done playing one of these. Alright. Well, I need some more lands. Thank you. Uh. Well, I play this guy. And, uh. I'm not gonna fetch up a land because I don't wanna decrease my chances of picking up a land. Only running 24 lands, so I want I want maximum percentage chance to pick up a land here. Sitting here with two four drops in my hand. All right, playing the the frogs. Get get rogs. Grandson. Anything else? No? Just the frog? Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Um well, let me go ahead and get a mountain, even though it's gonna come in tapped. I gambled and I lost on that one. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait till next turn to get rid of his mutator. I gambled and I lost on the land percentage draw all right well I have no enchantments for you to destroy sir or ma'am or they whatever this person I'm playing prefers to be acknowledged as I want everybody to know Stax is is very uh socially correct I, I accept and acknowledge everyone. Respect everyone. Alright. Uh well I wanna get I wanna get his mutator out of here, so let's go ahead and get rid of it now. Alright, uh well I probably should have waited until he tries to mutate on it, but yeah, because now I'm now I'm gonna eat six. I'm playing. Uh, I'm I'm frustrated now because of my land situation. <laughs> we get oh, another great horn. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat six here. I'm sure. All right. Please be a land. I need a land. No, you're not a land. Um. Uh, all right, well, let me go ahead and play Storm King. Uh, Scorch Spitter. So that way when I do pick up the land, I can go into Chandra and then give all my guys the buff. And uh, that attack is going to hurt. So let me, let me swing in with the Storm King here. Get some damage in. All right. Now I got I to gotta pray for a land. I can take three more hits from his flyer. All right, land. Magic gods. No, no. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, swinging with the stormkin again. Um. Well, hold on here. Uh, I need to I need to try to get as much damage in as I can. So let me let me swing in with all these guys here. I'm just not gonna swing in with the Trailblazer. I need to get in for damage because I'm on the clock here. So if I pick up a land, I'll be that much closer to killing him. Oh oh no. No, he's gonna he's gonna bounce my flyer. I'm pretty sure. That sucks. Oh, well, I think we're gonna drop this game. 
game eight gonna be dropped to the infamous land screw. Yep. Alright, what are you gonna you gonna block my uh kill my scorch spitter? My glade. No, my elementals, no. Oh, yeah. Gonna eat six. Well, even if I get a land at this point, uh, ten, he can still block, yeah. So, even with the pump, he'll still live. And that is not a land. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, I'm not gonna concede. I'll let him get his hits in. He earned it. Go ahead and uh, swing in all. Just because. Alright. And, uh, shock your face. Little departing gift for me. Shock. It sucks. I could have won this. Ugh. Those always think. Oh well. So there you have it. A nice little run with a deck full of uncommons. Perfect deck for somebody just starting out on the arena to start out with if they want to play ranked. Um, so I definitely encourage it. Um, I am doing giveaways on this video for people that are new to arena. So if you're new to arena, make sure you comment on this video. Make sure you like, leave a comment. I will be picking people at random to give a uh, giveaway starter packs, welcome packages, um, codes that give you packs so you can uh, expand your collection. So make sure you like and comment. Um, any other ideas, anything that you ever want to see, uh, be sure to let me know. I'm always open to ideas and doing things for my viewers and my fans. So shoot me an email. Make sure you let me know what you're thinking in your mind, what you're brewing up, what kind of questions you got. Let me know. I'm always open to hear those things. As always, I appreciate all of you and thank you for the support. See you next time.